All right, I'm getting ready to install uh, this little plug right here on the board. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to install the eyelets for it first. And for that, you'll need uh, uh, two eyelets, a 60 thousandths uh, and a 46 thousandths in different lengths, of course. You'll need a number 53 drill bit and a 56 drill bit. Uh, you'll need an eyelet insertion tool. You'll need a, kind of a scribe with a bent end on it to help you position eyelets, acid brush, uh, a technical lab glass or something for mixing the epoxy. You'll need some epoxy. Uh, 30 minutes should be fine. Uh, I had some 5 minute, but I don't want to use that. I want to use something different. Uh, you'll need some uh, alcohol and some RMA flux. You'll need some solder. I, I have both fine and uh, and thick solder, solder. I think that's uh, 35 thousandths and uh, 20 thousandths I think. So anyways, oh you'll need a clamp to clamp it down. You'll need a couple pieces of foam, uh, a plate to put over the foam so it doesn't smash the board and it compress the, the epoxy evenly when you put it on the back of this. And uh, let's see, you'll need a, uh, a pin vise and you'll need some safety glasses. And you'll need some uh, some little uh, technical wipes. And you'll need some uh, thick plastic, and you need the thick plastic to uh, cover up the the plug uh, like this. And then you'll put the uh, the foam over it. And then you'll put your uh, your uh, plate over that and the reason for the thick plastic is, is just in case if any epoxy does leak out uh, then uh, you'll be able to, to peel this off and, and get your your things off of it and yeah, that's pretty much it there probably be a few more things that you need but those are the basics you can get by with that um, when you do your boards on the uh, inside if you're gonna drill your hole all the way through you uh, have to make sure that there's no internal vias going to that hole. And in this case, there isn't. It's just a, camp, uh, a ground plane. Uh, it's, and there's no other internal vias in it. So I can go ahead and, and drill that, that hole all the way out and uh, put my eyelet in there. Now when I put this, uh, this plug on here and put the eyelet in, I'm not going to crimp the eyelet because I still need to get it out and put some glue uh, either on here or on the plug. And what the eyelets are for is after I put the foam down and the plastic down is to squish it and it holds this plug in place so it doesn't slide left or right. And you put just enough on there so that it'll, it'll hold the main area in and then the eyelet will hold it in and then you can come back and then lap solder the outside. Then I'll show you how to do that. So let's get to it. All right, I got my number uh, 53 drill bit, and I'm going to drill the big hole out so that uh, my eyelet will fit in it. And then I'm going to use my uh, number uh, 56 drill bit so that uh, the smaller eyelet uh, will fit in it. So let me uh, let me get those drilled out, and I'll show them to you. Okay, I ended up going out down to a uh, 52 drill bit. The 53 was just a little bit too tight on the uh, eyelet, so uh, let me push this in here. There you go. Now I know that it fits, so I'm good on that. So let me go ahead and uh, uh, drill the other one out now. All right, I got the other hole drilled out, so now I can test fit this. Stick it in there. And this is just a test fitting. Uh, to make sure that it that does go in the hole and it, it, it did go in so and it has to go in the hole so that when you put the plug in and you get the holes drilled in this uh, it'll be centered properly otherwise uh, you go you'll glue this down and you'll have holes in this and you go to put it on then you won't be able to get the eyelets in the hole so you have to pre pre fit them first and then do that so let's get this up on the board and I'll show you how to find out where the holes are and get those drilled out. Once you uh, you get it, uh, your holes and your eyelets pre-fit, go ahead and take the eyelets out and then put this where you want it. And then when you get it where you want it, then you uh, 
you go ahead and you actually tape it down so it won't move. Now that you've got it taped down, now you just use the, the angle end on this and you, uh, you go around where you think your hole is and you push and it will actually indent in the hole where the holes are. And once you find them, then you can actually take the tip and poke it through and then run your drill bit through it. Okay, I did this one already. And I'm just going to go find this other hole over here. <laughs> there it is. Now I can run my drill bit through it. Okay, now with this thing uh, taped down, put your drill bit in there and just run it, run it in and out of the hole. But you have to hold this really tight, otherwise it'll pull it up, deform it, and possibly rip it. And you don't want that. All right, I ran my, put my finger over it and drilled the drill bit up. Obviously, I didn't drill into my finger, but I uh, kept tension on it. You can also uh, use some foam on that too to, to hold it down really tight. And then once it, uh, once you get it through, then you can go ahead and uh, use your finger to uh, flatten it back out again. And then, and then once again, pre-test your eyelets. And then if everything's fine and everything's lined up, then you can go ahead and proceeding to. Uh, glue the actual plug down and then clamp it down and I'll show you that. Alright, I got my holes drilled out so now I'm going to go ahead and grab the eyelets and uh, see if I can't get them to see if they'll go in the holes. And they go in the holes. At least that one does so let's get the other one. If I can get it there. There we go. Yeah, stick your fingernail down on there once you get it started. And they go in the holes and everything looks like it's still lined up so the next step is to go ahead and pull the eyelets back out and put some glue uh, clean off the both the the foil and the board with some alcohol let it dry and then go ahead and glue it down and then we'll clamp it with some uh, with some of this uh, some plastic barrier and some high density foam now there's foam right here. Uh, some of it is high density. All right, you have some high density foam with some small pockets, and then you have some foam that has large pockets in it. You want the you want the high density foam because it'll provide a, a more even compression. Uh, sometimes the black one is pretty good. It's a little stiffer than the other. Uh, foam and it, it does provide a good clamp, but there's several types of this too and some of it looks like it's high density But it's really too spongy and you want a really firm foam to provide a, a lot of even pressure on your plug Or whatever you're clamping down whether it be a run or whether it be a, a, a foil patch or whatever uh, You want you want a good stiff foam and a good uh, stiff plate uh, to put over the foam to, to squish it down really good. Before I put this down and glue this down, I decided I'm going to go ahead and uh, flatten this funnel. Uh, this is a flat one and this is a funnel. Uh, so I'm going to flatten this down so it's flat on the board here. Um, the two tools I didn't mention, <laughs> I think I forgot to, was you'll need a flat punch to do the flat. And sometimes you'll need a flat uh, jeweler's file to uh, trim the length on the back. If it's too long and you go to uh, flatten it out, uh, compress it out, uh, it can split. If it splits, um, as long as it's not critical, uh, you can just put some solder on it and not worry about it. But it uh, depends on your, uh, uh, your quality assurance whether they would allow it or not. But specifically, you don't want it. But if it does and it's still physically good enough to use, then leave it in there. It's not a big deal. So, anyways, let me get this flattened up here. And basically, you just put your uh, your flat punch on it. And you just kind of kind of rock it around like that, and uh, it'll eventually flatten out. And you don't need a hammer to do this. You just or or a press. You just use your hand and do it. They're usually soft enough. Yeah, this is kind of what I was talking about here. Uh, this one's pretty good. This one's a little high, so I'll probably hit it with the flat file a little bit and knock it down so that when I spread it out, it comes out to about here instead of out here. And uh, you can also see right here, there's little indentations all the way around. So if you 
flatten it out these will actually split down here like this uh, some places are or some funnelettes are built that way and some are not so uh, you'll actually use a, a tool like this to push in the hole and then you'll wobble it around in a circle and push it down and then you can uh, finish this off with your flat punch and then after I glue it down then I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll go ahead and uh, put the clamps on it with the, the plastic and the foam barriers and then we'll let it sit for 24 hours all right go ahead and remove your uh, your pad your tape and uh, and then remove your eyelets and then mix your glue and uh, I'll show you how to put it down on your uh, your copper and then clamp it if the eyelets don't want to come out then you can uh, you can just put your uh, your scribe in there and push them out this way and that way you don't uh, deform your copper run